Hey guys, welcome back. It's Chad and Dalton here. Um, we're just getting ready to drive this 1971 Olds Cutlass Convertible. Uh, trimmed out with the 442 trim, 442 uh, snorkel hood, rear spoiler, and just a great looking stance, guys. Uh, me and Dal were just talking just right before we started this video, and I'll tell you what, we classify this as a really nice cruise night car, beautiful driver condition car. Exactly. Um, and with a driver condition car, you're going to have those little nicks and chips. Um, that's really the only thing holding this car back as we go around it. Um, just a lot of little, little stuff like that uh, that you'd expect from a car that you drive. Exactly. Um, I'm guessing the restoration on this thing was probably done 10, 15 years ago. Uh, still looks great at a you know 10 foot. You get up close, like Dalton says, you got some chips. I just love the Oldsmobile. Uh, you know that uh, dual snorkel hood on these things just looks fantastic. One of the strong points in this car is just the bottom of the hood, the engine compartment. This car is dressed up with the W30 inner fenders, which doesn't mean a lot, but it's kind of cool. A lot of people try to make a W30 clone out of these things. Um, most importantly is air conditioning, factory air, and we just charged it up and it blows ice cold. Engine runs very smooth also. The Elderbrock carburetor on it, the correct style valve covers, a performer intake, power steering, disc brakes. If you got disc brakes in front, you check that out. I'm sure they probably are. It's got power brakes, I know. What? Drum. drum brakes, okay. So it does not have disc brakes, it's got the power drum. As we go on the inner fenders and stuff, they can tell that the car was painted with the fenders off the car. Um, they did a nice job there. The inner fenders look good. They went ahead and did all the, uh, just all the little add-ons here. Under the hood, they did a really nice job with all the detail on the car. They really did. go down nicely. Um, as far as our gap goes, we have a nice even gap from front to back. Um, lines up really nice across the top of the hood to the top of the fender. It has the original grill in it. Um, somebody did put the 442 emblems in the grill, but you can tell the grill's just got a few chips in the black paint, stuff like that. Uh, front bumper, can't tell if that's original or not. It looks a little too nice to be the original. It's got a great shine, nice and straight. I mean, if this car's coming at you down the road, man, this is just an awesome muscle car. And uh, it is a 442 clone, but they didn't make many 442 convertibles, so it's cool to see a clone to this extent, too. Just a sharp car. Exactly. I mean, for all the purists out there, yeah, it's not a real deal, but a lot of people are making Super Sport clones, 442 clones, and that's fine. If you want just a nice, awesome cruising driving car that's what this is exactly save money might not be the real thing but it sure looks like it and it'd be just as much fun exactly so as we're going over here on the passenger side um front fender is in really good shape we have just a couple little chips right here you just can see a couple little scratches uh, driver quality paint it's about all i can say on that from top to bottom um really nice gap here Lower fender's in excellent shape. Emblems are new. As we go along here on the rocker panel, um, lower rear quarter, all that looks really good. As far as the bottom part of our door, that's where we always kind of watch out for on any of these old cars. Um, everything looks really good so far. We have just a little paint touch up. It's not a blister. Just a little chip that's been touched up right there. Other than that, that door looks awesome. Is that painted on, Nick? Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. So our stripes to us look like they were painted on. The 442 was not a stripe. It looks like they taped it all off and painted it on. Another little chip right here that's been touched up. Other than that, over the wheel well looks great. Behind the wheel looks awesome. I mean, that's really where a lot of these cars go. And if you go up on our website, guys, coyoteclassics.com, we have about 20 undercarriage photos of there showing the frame, trunk floor, floorboards, and uh, all in all, I think it's had a couple new pans in the front, but all in all, a really nice driving solid car. Uh, it does have a black power top. The top's in good shape, and we'll probably go ahead and put the top up today, or just keep it down? We'll, we'll pitch it on the website. Okay. 
Um, Dahl just pointed this out, a couple, of, like a little tiny little paint run right on the edge of the trunk lid. Um, they did go ahead and leave these original lines in here. They didn't uh, fill all those up, full filler, nothing like that. Back bumper is 100% original. You can see just the oxidation in it. A couple little dings as well. I like the dual exhaust tailpipes. You want to rev it up a little, D? It's got a great sounding uh, a small block four barrel engine in here. Nice idle. The engine runs smooth. It has a nice sound coming out the dual exhaust. Um, it's a white car, but uh, I'll tell you what, the body's pretty straight on it from front to back. The paint has a nice shine. The tires are in excellent shape. We got great tread on those race white letter tires. We will go ahead and put that top up. We might as well. Just little stuff like this, guys. You're gonna see it. Just little paint chips have been touched, and they've been touched up. It's just not, just not a perfect car. Um, as far as our door jams go, they've all been painted as well. Looks like some of maybe original paint right in this area, just under the door sills here. Kind of a combination of original and uh, one repaint. The door rubbers are, are the original rubbers, so they will need to be replaced, okay? Same thing there. Yep. Very inexpensive, but uh, it kind of shows the originality of it. I don't know how many miles it has on it, but uh, I'm guessing not a lot. Corner of the door, very solid. Yeah, it is. Very, very solid here. Obviously, they did touch up the, the corner of the door as far as on the paint, but very, very solid. What I'm very impressed with is bucket seat console. Yes, this is not an original 442, guys, but it's got the bucket seats console, doesn't have the bench seat, and the wood grain on this door panel, and the dash is really, for original, is fantastic. Yeah, armrest is nice somebody did go ahead and they added some speakers in the uh, front door panels it's got a good sound system the carpet that's in good shape as well um, bucket seat here on the passenger side is nice it still has the original um, chrome on it um, you can tell by that's kind of yellowed a little bit you can get that replaced but it's original excellent shape there um, back door panel the wood grain is all good as well it's got the original GM seat belts. It's got three in the back. The back seat is excellent. There's no rips or tears back there. And the cushions really got a lot of nice padding too. Um, back seat on the passenger or driver's side is in great shape. Door panel's nice. Here's another thing that I love. I mean, the, the wood grain on the dash is in fantastic shape. Our steering wheel is nice. The car's got 28,803 miles on the odometer. I'm definitely guessing it's 128, not any more than that. It's a really cool car. Go ahead and put the top up. Yeah. The horn working? Horn working. Horn does work. All right, as far as our dash pad goes, that's in great shape as well. Door shut really nice. Power top goes up nicely and it does have a glass back window, guys. So it's a brand new top, it looks like, within the last five years. Um, very, very nice top. And it fits really nice back here, nice and tight by that glass back window. So this is another thing. So a lot of, some of the convertibles just don't look like cool muscle cars with the top, top up. This 442 clone, I think, looks good either way, top down or top up. I was just commenting, I mean, this car looks good with the top up or down. I mean, a lot of a lot of muscle cars don't, you know, they just don't look good with the top up. Exactly, I think with the black stripes and black accent, that black top does look real nice. As far as our quarter panel here on the uh, driver's side, that's excellent as well. No bubbles or blisters down below. Um, as we look up and down the sides, the paint has a really nice shine. Uh, great driver quality paint. I'm really glad the uh, Restorer went ahead and put the 442 wing on it. To me, that really sets the car off. Again, it's got the emblems on the back. They're new as well. Um, body line and stuff like here where the uh, quarter extension meets the trunk lid's in great shape. And it uh, lines up all the way nicely across both sides of the trunk lid to the top of the quarters. Um, again, the back bumper has a couple little dings and uh, is original, but uh, 15, 20 foot looks great. Get it right up on top of it. You know, you can tell it's not, uh, it's not excellent. The more I go around this car, Dalton, I really like it. And I kind of was a little hard on it, I think. 
You know what I mean? There's not that many touch-ups. No, there's really not. We get in here, um, and again, guys, I'm not gonna be able to point out all of them, but we get in here, just right along this body, uh, this door edge guard has just been chipped off and all touched up right there. It looks like, kinda look close, it looks like at one time it had that little rubber piece that kinda goes sure there. Sure it did, yep. um, Cause you can see where the brake line is. Yeah. So I'm guessing that's. So that's probably why it's chipped here too. It had that little uh, chrome guard that went around there. Yep. Door guard edge. As far as our, they did leave our body line right in here, guys. We got just a little surface rust hue there, just from being older. No bubbles or blisters, nothing like that down there. Um, some more chips and little paint chips on the rocker panel here. A little scuff right here. I don't think you'll be able to pick it up in the video, but just a little scuff there. It'll probably buff out. Sure. Um, down along here, you do have a couple little paint runs or little nubs there. Um, and some more rock chips on that lower front fender. But uh, what I like to see there is it's not, this is your typical spot that's gonna be full of Bondo. Really nice, solid metal, guys. Uh, door gap on the front of the door, the body line lines up good. Our door gap is really nice. Also have a little paint chip here, probably the worst paint chip on the whole car, right there. And then one that's been touched up right here. Jeez, now you're really getting fussy, D. Now I'm getting picky. Come on, doll. All right, as we go around our windshield, guys, the windshield's in great shape. Um, the chrome around the window and stuff like that, that's original and that looks nice as well. Driver's side door rubber is the exact same, guys. It's the original, man. It's hard, it needs to be replaced for about 100 bucks. Um, talk, to, talk to one of the guys here and uh, I'm sure we can throw that on for you. As far as the uh, lower corner of this door, uh, passenger side door was absolutely perfect, never had anything done. This one has just a skosh of swelling, just a little bit. Not bad, and I don't see any other prior repair, but you can just see the paint in here just a little different. There's the bottom of the door. Um, armrest cover does have a little tear in that. A couple little small imperfections. You can replace those, but it's original. Armrest base is good, door panel's in great shape. Wood grain's nice. Driver's side seat, we have just this little tiny imperfection right here. Other than that, the cord and getting in and out is in excellent shape. Getting the windows up, D? Trying to. I think this might came off track a little bit. Um, Timmy will have to. Also, as we go here, guys, the back lights work and they work fine. So as we sit in here, the seats are super comfortable. Again, bucket seat console. It does have, I'll let you mess with this, a Panasonic um, CD player and that works. I just turned it on. Inside the console is in fantastic shape. The wood grain on the console, the console shifter ball, the dash itself is fantastic. We talked about the horn work and the wipers work. We all seen the power top works. Um, inside this top, guys, it's got the original boots and stuff still in it, so there's a little tear in the boot on the inside. But uh, our visors are nice and tight. Rear view mirror has been replaced. Panasonic CD player works. Yeah. Um, fuel gauge works as well. Um, you can hear that air conditioner compressor kick in. That works great. So the air blows ice cold on it and uh, it's a really nice uh, option there. A lot of convertibles don't have air and they sure don't work. That's true. This size picture, this is a great, uh, like you said, cruise night car. Uh, town we live in, Waverly, Iowa, they have a thing every Thursday night where uh, you take and, and cruise up and down Main Street there. And this would be a great car for that. This would. I don't know if you just uh, <laughs> felt that nice transmission shift from first to second to third. I mean, this thing's snappy. 354 barrel and it just gets right with the program. Mm -hmm. Um, steering wheel is nice and straight. Again, original steering wheel. Um, not all cracked up terrible. It's got a couple cracks, but again, 128,000 miles. Back. It does get right up and go, doesn't it? It does, man. Feel that shift. Second gear scratch. this about uh, five six days ago guys when it came in and I was super impressed with it then and I'm super impressed with it now kick down works perfectly shifts down into second look at that one finger on the wheel one thing I've noticed through the years these colleges drive so nice as far as 
of steering, acceleration, um, just overall feel. Comfort. Skylark, Grand Sports, and the Colossus, the Supremes, the 442s, they're fantastic cars, guys. And this is one of them. I love this car. I love the sound of the exhaust. It's crisp, it's nice, and it's just a fun driving classic. Absolutely. Fly in, drive it home, guys. Um, check it out on the website, like Chad said. We got our carriage pictures up there. CoyoteClassics.com. Check it out. Give us a call, 641-816-3145.